happening? Hey, Luther, how you doing? How you guys? Whoa. What you working on? Welcome back to the Northern Tool and Equipment Tools for the Trades Rat Rod Go-Kart Build-Off Month 4. I'm Dylan McCool, YouTube content creator and restorer of cars, trucks, and plenty of junk. And I'm your host for this journey. As you know by now, the students at Lakeville North and Minneapolis Public Schools have been hard at work trying to build their rat rod go-karts. This month, the students got the thrill of a lifetime when their mentors visited them in person. That's right, Billy Lane and the team from Petty's Garage spent the day working with students on their cart builds. A trip to Minnesota in freezing cold January? Now that's dedication or a little bit of craziness. I'll let you decide. And it sounds like this visit may have been just what these students needed to help them get to a critical moment in this build-off journey, starting their 740cc EFI North Star engines. Now let's head to Minneapolis Public Schools and see how their day with celebrity bike builder Billy Lane went and see if Billy thawed out from that Minnesota freeze. Let's focus on making sure this thing runs and then we'll worry about the aesthetics. Did I told Luther, like if you guys, like you can a lot of times go like on eBay and find new stuff. If you guys need something, I'll buy it and donate it. If you if we can find something to get you here, like yeah, for you sure. know, put another wrench in and pull like that and get some leverage out of it. Uh, my, my dad and my brother were mechanics who worked in cars in the yard. You know, we didn't have money, so if we wanted something cool, we had to make it or fix it. And so, I mean, that necessity is really what drove me and gave me my work ethic and, you know, it's what got me here today. What impresses me most about these students is that I thought all young people this age group just wanted to be social media influencers. Um, they, they want to work with their hands. They want to do something. AI will never replace somebody who works in the trades. And, and that's, I think, a really important thing for them to think about. When you do thin stuff like sheet metal, which you probably don't do a lot of, but with the sheet metal you want to angle your your uh, torch and you're going to push your weld. But right. when you do something thick like this, like the way you weld it, you're going to pull it. So okay. it's kind of like a push-pull right. technique they call it. But these, these actual welds you've already done look really good. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Good you. puddle. I couldn't really settle on one thing, um, but taking the classes here, I de definitely it's something, some chemical change in my brain where I was just like, yep, this is this is the one. I mean, personally, I think for you all, if Richard drove this one, it'd be cooler because he's such a, a stud, you know, he's a superstar. Such a star. So, um, you know, you definitely want to make it so that he can get in and out of it. So that would be a good move. Three, two, one. The North Star E740 engine is really neat. We cut the muffler off. The students cut the muffler off of it, which is kind of cool because, you know, a rat rod doesn't have a muffler. It's usually going to have a loud open exhaust. So when they started it up with the straight pipes and the flames come out of the exhaust, it was really neat to hear that between engine fire to light. Do that again. Grab it, grab it again. Yeah, this is exciting. This is really exciting. I want to see you guys succeed. I, I do this all day, every day. You have a little a little window every day to do this, so I do it all day every day, and it takes a long time to get something done. This is a big project. This is a lot. The thing I, I think that impressed me the most about this program today is how much they've got actually gotten done. This is a huge project. I don't think people realize how big it is to start from scratch and to come up with the idea, the concept, and then take it from a concept to a reality. So I'm really impressed with how hard they've worked just to get to this point. The biggest obstacle to getting into the trades is access to tools and knowledge. And this program offers both. I mean, there's a lot of knowledge here. These instructors are, are amazing and they have a lot of resources and, and you know, allow someone like me to come and help, I know, brings an additional resource. Then they have access to the tools and equipment through tools for, for the trades. So it's really great to walk into this program and see that they're so well equipped. I, I think the students seeing the North Star Engine Fire to Life it, it takes everything, all their work so far, to another level. It kind of is a, a pivotal point where it carries them forward from just working on something to seeing this is going to become a reality. They're actually going to be running and driving this car someday. I, I think the instructors, Luther and Zach, have as big of a challenge as the students because they've, they've got to harness all this energy. And these students have other things going on besides what's going on inside this building. So I think their job is going to be to maintain control to set goals and to make sure that this thing gets done in time and is safe because, you know, if it's pretty sketchy, it would make Richard drive it. Now that was an awesome day. I really wish I could have been there. But next, Greg Stedman, COO of Petty's Garage, and Thad Moffat, NASCAR Truck Series racer and grandson of Richard Petty, spent the day with students at Lakeville North High School. 
Will Lakeville North be able to start their carts? Gosh, the suspense is killing me. If I were talking to some of my younger or peers or younger people that I know, trying to get them to take a shop class, I would just want them to realize all the opportunities that they have. You know, you can make a good living working with your hands and learning a trade. If you can weld, you'll probably have a job forever. If you can turn a wrench, you'll probably have a job forever. Like those jobs are not going away anytime soon. So learning those skills at an early young age can carry you through your entire professional career. Definitely. I'm going to tell you what I would do if it were me. I don't think it's going to move a ton. If you got a piece of metal, just stick it across there and tack it on there. Right? Cut that off. You have to hold it from moving when you cut it off. Get it set flat, and then you can reposition this to put it back on flat. Right? Well, just so we can work the rest of the chassis with it flat. Because otherwise, just go get you a piece of scrap and just tack it on there. There and there, and just wheel that off. Yes, in person, and that's what I love. I love being in here working and, and getting hands dirty. So it's exciting to be with uh, Kevin and his group of guys and girls that come in here and actually be able to put our hands and thoughts with them on the project. Uh, I think this time we were able to get to a point um, where they can actually start completing some projects. They're, they're over halfway through or right at halfway through. So uh, just with working with Ryan and, and all the, the other uh, kids have just been a great experience. Well, I'll tell you what, having a, a Petty's Garage here was, was definitely an eye-opener for professionalism. These guys, they've been there, they've done it, they race, and it was neat to get their perspective because, you know, the stuff that we've been doing, we were making good progress, but to have the pros come in who, who really have some high-end race car experience and look at what the kids did and, and pick out the good things, which was awesome, but also pick out things like, oh, we should reinforce that, Gus at this fix that, change that. And I think that was awesome because it was all positive reinforcement. Or somebody said earlier they looked like they were towed in. Yeah, that was me. Yeah. So you would put like a plate on it or like a 90 or whatever you want to put and then measure like the front tire, the front of the tire and the back of the tire and it should be like within an eighth inch. Okay. And it's so this will essentially be mounted like up here is what you're getting yeah. at? Okay. Where we can put it through the metal instead of trying to put it through the wood where it warps and we can't, it yep. won't stay. Does that plate go your way, Greg? Yeah, it fits. And then we'll yeah. do the same on the bottom or just find out where they go. I mean, they're up a little higher, but that's easily fixable and we can always Transfer find Transfer those holes to the... Yeah. I'm, I'm been doing this for a long time, but you still learn every day, right? It's still there's just something different about the scenario you're in, the the, the atmosphere you're in, and uh, just it, like I say, it's just great to work with uh, young people that um, they're learning for the first time, making some of those mistakes. I made them, a, I don't know, could have made the same mistakes ten times. So, uh, but uh, it it's just something where, like I say, you'll build this project and you'll look back and you say, I did that. That's great. That was a great accomplishment. And then the next one you want to go to, you know, how do we do something a little better? I'm really most proud of is, is the students themselves, you know, and how they've, they've accomplished so much. They've overcome a lot. The beginning stages of this, when we were designing, brainstorming, thinking about ideas, I mean, it was on their shoulders. You know, I said, you get online, you look up some ideas. You know, here's a PowerPoint presentation. I want you putting pictures, I, anything you, you can think of. And to see them all come together as a team now and start picking that apart and using things that are good, you know, and as a team, you have to sometimes say, you know what, my idea wasn't the best. I get it. And they're really good at that now. And I like seeing them work together, the camaraderie. You know, we have males and females working side by side, both doing amazing jobs. We have different grade levels, you know, freshman, sophomore, junior, seniors. And to see everybody knowing that, hey, we're a team. You know, we're not trying to push anybody out of the way. We want everybody to work together, put together our list of what do we need to do, who's the best person to do that exact, uh, you know, product on it and go for it and these kids are they're you know they're blowing me away with their, their passion and their excitement and their enthusiasm and i'm just i'm proud of them you know and i'm happy and I, the, the kids are definitely my uh, this is cool in itself but what the kids are doing really is what's got my heart one of the biggest things i learned from our mentors that came in today is it's not always just going to happen and that sometimes you have to kind of dig for the answer to the problem and you need to kind of 
might have to take a step back and look at everything until you figure out, oh, here's what we need to do, here's how it can get done. And that's probably like the biggest thing that we all learned today. When we see Richard tomorrow, we will let him know that uh, the guys are, and girls are coming along great. Um, it will be exciting to see the final products when we uh, unveil them in Minneapolis at the uh, Back to the 50s Street Rod Show. So uh, it'll be interesting to see. Like I say, it's, um, they're not kits out of a box. They, these, these kids have had to think and just uh, it's their imagination. So that's neat. Wow, what a difference a day with mentors can make. Could you imagine working with these guys for an entire day? That's like winning the lottery. Now what started out as piles of scrap metal and sketches are now carts that run. From here on out though, the students will be working to complete the builds, add cosmetic touches including pinstriping by Cliff Anderson, and test running their carts before the grand reveal at the Minnesota State Fairgrounds on June 21st. So what's next? With spring break and graduation on the horizon, time is ticking. These students will need to remain focused to cross the finish line, and I know that they can do it. Now I'm Dylan McCool, and I'll see you back here for month five. Until then, we need your help to get the word out. First, please share this video. You or one of your friends just might inspire a student to take a shop class or explore a career in the trades. And second, please subscribe to the Northern Tool YouTube channel so you never miss another update.